అందరికీ శుభోదయం రెస్పెక్ట్ డగ్నే డిగ్నటరీస్ అండ్ డయాస్ ఎన్టి రావు గారు అండ్ మెకాన్ డైరెక్టర్ రవీత్ అండ్ ఫౌండర్ అండ్ సిఇఓ మోనికా మేడం డిగ్నటరీస్ ఆఫ్ ది డయాస్ అండ్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు కంగ్రాచులేట్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ అండ్ అకేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ యోగా డే అబౌట్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు కన్వే మై సిన్సియర్ థ్యాంక్స్ టు మోనికా ఫర్ కండక్టింగ్ సచ్ ఎ వండర్ఫుల్ సెమినార్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ అండ్ ఐరన్ వర్ ఇన్ ది సిటీ ఆఫ్ వైజాగ్ ఇక వైజాగ్ ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ అ సూపర్ ఐడెంటిటీ ఫర్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ఇక వైజాగ్ వాజ్ వన్ వన్ టైమ్ బ్యాక్ బిగ్గెస్ట్ ఇండస్ట్రియల్ సిటీ ఇన్ సౌత్ ఇండియా నవ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ టేకన్ ఓవర్ బై జేఎస్డబ్ల్యూ అండ్ వైజాగ్ వన్ మోర్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ టూ పోర్ట్స్ సీ పోర్ట్స్ లొకేటెడ్ వెరీ నియర్ టు సిటీ విశాఖపట్నం పోర్ట్ ట్రస్ట్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ కిలోమీటర్ అండ్ గంగవరం పోర్ట్ అదర్ సైడ్ నెంబర్ టూ రోడ్ రైల్ సీ అండ్ ఎయిర్ ఆల్ లింకేజెస్ ఆర్ దేర్ so this city is going to become one of the biggest industrial city in the coming days because other advantages are there vajag is the best place to procure iron ore if you see from chatisgarh nmdc to here hardly 1200 rupees railway freight and from uh, lights around 1300 to 1400 rupees and number 2 by varsa that was around 1500 rupees comes all the logistics so lot of places available and earlier kvsl also planned to set up a 2 million ton pallet plant in isapatnam port auto wards you know that because of some reasons we have dropped now nmd is coming very big way to la slurry pipeline along with the pallet plant maybe in next two, four five years they may start the job also that is the big news in the nmd is now so in the future i expect that vijayagir become biggest industrial city and by personal i will link you to this place because first i joined my engineering in vijay andhra university but within two months i left to nit varanga my first job also first joined in, in vijay only so that's why i like this place so that's why my sincere thanks i can tell you to monica madam and uh, coming to iron ore industry for my my experience more in iron ore palletization first palletization plant in the india started 1960s at uh, goa about capacity of 1.8 million ton pallet industry those days considered only export oriented industry not for a domestic consumption after that kodar kevsl where i spent my most of the time that came up a big way with a 22 million tons uh, mining and uh, 7 million tons beneficiation that uh, KVSL formed in 1976 started mining within uh, within 4 is at 81 that the only plant in India in of the public sector without escalation of time and budget the plant, plant started that was the supply main concentrated to Iran afterwards Iran for political disturbance the development market in Japan Korea and other uh, countries again 1996 like a severe drop in the global market then the commission pallet plant of 3 million ton of course kevsl that to cross out full capacity utilization of 3 million ton only export no domestic sale third plant of the visa only that the sastra commission the 6 million pallet plant most of the people my own company kudurmi company only so that's why this, this that is the world story of the pallet industry uh, maximum 10 million ton capacity before uh, 2000 today capacity 150 million tons of course varsa is the biggest uh, epic center for iron ore mining and also pallet industry 50% of pallet capacity located in varsa only followed by other states like karnataka and maharashtra now coming to light steel lights initially started with uh, 2 million ton iron ore mining but within uh, one year the high crop capacity to 10 million tons and next one year expecting to touch double the capacity almost 18 million it will cross by december so that is how after nmdc omc lights is become a, going to become the biggest uh, merchant aeromar supplier for the country advantage of lights is central located at maharashtra now they supply from maharashtra to karnataka of course varisa west bengal gujarat everywhere so because location advantage lights so in the coming days lights also becoming going to becoming a biggest uh, supplier to all to india steel industry so this uh, pallet industry always dependable industry if you say globally you know steel price drop means first they ask consumption of the pallet industry since beginning pallet industry is not given much support by the government the government of india but 2010 11 government realized the pallet industry is a value added product and they reduced the import duty on the machinery from 7.5 to 2.5% afterwards pallet capacity had increased increasing today almost crossed 150 million tons and as per our steel policy also 2017 steel capacity is 300 million ton that occur almost more than 600 million tons in that at least 25 to 50 percent going to become a pallet to become a main raw material so pallet industry those days of course no one in india after 2010 only started using more in india so 
so for today pellet industry without exports it is not be very difficult to survive because awareness still not increased oka bigger blast furnace like jsw jspl or some they are raising more than 50% but smaller blast furnace still raising around 10% only and otherwise next time market only spanger in industry spanger in also price price incentive oka bigger more price for the lump sponge produce through lumper number 2 for pellet there's always price difference is there but in the coming days with the depletion of high grade ore on the logistics issue pellet is going to become a main raw material for the entire steel steel industry now i working for wellspun house as advisor there we started using pellets after using pellets productivity has gone up co2 emissions has reduced and also this productivity has, has increased and slag value has reduced so in the coming days for indian industry depend only on the pellet industry i feel that a beneficiation also that one of the important factor capacity today is more than 150 million ton but capacity today is very less in india but pellet capacity now increased 80 80% to earlier 50% but beneficiation has improved first of all their capacity utilization number two we have increased more on the beneficiation because in the future there is no availability of high grade ore for as uh, no other host the whole option is that beneficiate the low grade ore some type of iron ore means 64 plus today 60 60 to work calling is high grade ore today low grade ore below 60 that is the status in the future we don't get 63 64 also one option is that we have to beneficiate low grade ore up to 55 54 also lawyers are now planning to beneficiate up to 35 fe to the 67 already work has started already so next year lawyers start starting uh, this pellet plant next to 2 to 3 years benefit plant also that also 45 million tons of benefit plant of the light steel so i feel that future is only beneficiation number two slurry pipeline and pelletization the three are going to play a major role major role in india and the national steel policy followed by the government of india initial consumption in india today already we have capacity utilization to garner steel industry so i feel by 2030 again 250 million of production we may touch that capacity if you see the project last 5 years uh, improvement in the steel uh, steel, steel production so with this i complete my uh, my, uh, my, my present so i no presentation and, uh, and first of all thank you very much for all of you for giving this opportunity to, to speak to you for uh, patiently hearing to all of you thank you very much don't forget to like subscribe and share the videos